Welcome to Coretta Scott King Young Women's Leadership Academy Virtual Celebration. Yellow buses to the schoolhouse, hitting four classes a day. Freshmen and juniors and sophomores, all in the hall and all in your way, yes, it's done. That cap on your head, that gown round your neck, and that counselor finally clearing you saying, check, it's done. That feeling right now where nothing compares, and knowing that now in the mirror you stare to look at yourself just as sure as the sun, having all of your credits, and finally saying it's done. Congratulations, it's time to celebrate. I'm happy, we're happy, you're happy. And for all of the aunts and the uncles and the grandmothers and the grandfathers and the cousins and the mothers and the fathers and the friends and the neighbors and everybody who has joined us during this time, it is time for us to turn up the volume. It's time to put on your caps and put in your gowns, grab some good mood food, and let's sit back together as APS delivers these celebrations from our heart to your living rooms as an honor to the class of 2020. It wasn't supposed to be like this. We were looking forward to the end of our senior year and graduation. Then this happened. I think people should be concerned, and the one issue here is that we don't really know uh, the extent of the outbreak. Of all the things we could have dreamed of for this moment, this was not See, the Centers for Disease Control says the coronavirus. 26 people have died. The metro most school districts are planning to close. We have all been impacted by this. One moment we were all together and in the next we were at home with family and loved ones, adjusting and adapting to change and uncertainty. Temporarily closing schools, so that means districts have to plan for that right now. We never thought that would be the last time we would see each other. That we would miss walking across the stage together and celebrating the fact that we made it. Yet through it all, we are here. We battle through the tough times together. Though distant, we remain connected. We learn together, and we will finish this journey together. We are unstoppable. We have a legacy to keep, dreams to fulfill, and this, this won't keep us from our commencement. Though this is not how we saw it in the beginning, we embrace this moment. We celebrate that we made it here, and all of those who helped us and taught us along the way. One day, we will tell the story of the class of 2020 and how, through it all, we are here. Grandparents, godparents, uncles, aunts, cousins, faculty, staff, students, 
and the fabulous members of the class of 2020. It is time to celebrate. We made it here together, unified as a family, sharing a common goal of achievement and success. Although our senior year didn't end in a traditional way, we are here together and we are here to share the memories of our past, present, and our future. So please sit back and be prepared to smile, laugh, cheer, and even cry as we celebrate the stellar class of 2020 for Siskiwala. As many of you know, my name is Lauren Jones. I have the honor of being your salutatorian and star student. As we embark on a new journey in our lives, we have a moment to commemorate our accomplishments and everlasting excellence. This celebration will showcase student reflections, memorable moments, and inspirational messages for students, parents, and faculty members. My message to you is, congratulations to my Siski Wallace sisters for your perseverance and resilience. Thank you. Hello, my name is Talisha. I would like to start off by saying, tout nous félicions, je la fais, la vais faire, nous l'avons fait. In French, this means congratulation. I made it, you made it, we made it. So congratulations, seniors. Be proud of your accomplishments and celebrate your future. Be the change you want to see. This pandemic is a forever memory and you are special to live through it. So let's celebrate. Hello, my fellow classmates of 2020. My name is Jaleesa Kears and I serve as your senior class president. Though times are tough and our class events and current statuses are unforeseeable, I am here to make sure that you guys know that we did it, that we beat the virtual odds, and we are finished. Class of 2020, no matter the losses we have endured, in my eyes we are the best and strongest class of the 21st century. Whatever your future holds and your heart aspires to be will happen. The world has something special in store for us. Congrats, Class of 2020. Hello, my name is Tamaya Harden and I am a graduating senior at Coretta Scott King. I am here to say congratulations, Class of 2020. We are here to celebrate you and your success. I've made it, you've made it, we've made it. You've had a rocky year, things didn't go as planned, but that didn't shake your determination on graduating. I am proud of you as well as your families. Give yourself a pat on the back and prepare for new beginnings. Hola, Clase de Dos Mil Viente. Mi amo Taylor Robinson. Enjoying these final moments of high school will defeat the negativity that come along with social distancing. We've worked diligently to overcome the hardships and odds to now be a high school graduate. I can agree that staying in the house is super aberita, and the most exciting moments of our senior year have been stripped away. However, we must continue our journey and new beginnings and be grateful for the celebrations we do encounter. We made it, we're graduating, and that's muy emocionante. Good evening, my name is Damali Danielle McIntyre. And my name is Shantiria Christina Saylor. We would like to congratulate the visionary class of 2020 at the Coretta Scott King Young Women's Leadership Academy on all of their accomplishments, determination, and hard work. I have had the astounding pleasure of attending Siskiwala as a scholar from 6th to 12th grade. While focusing on my academics, I have learned and developed numerous skills that I will use throughout my life. I have been blessed by meeting people that I will continue to build for everlasting relationships here at CSK. Having the opportunity to be a part of a sisterhood has truly impacted my life. Attending CSK from middle to high has helped me build my self-confidence, become a leader, and not follow the crowd. I have always been motivated to reach for the stars and not settle for the basics. One of my most memorable moments at CSK was having the opportunity of being a part of a program called Project Engages, which has bettered my public speaking skills, performing research in the lab with graduate students, and various opportunities I experienced while being in the program. I would like to thank Mr. Alfaro, Ms. Garner, Colonel Kimbrough, and Mrs. Rogers for believing in me and pushing me to my fullest. I had the pleasure of gracing the doors of Siskiwala in 2015 as an eighth grader. Beginning my journey as a Siskiwala scholar, I lacked self-confidence and awareness within myself. And as I matured, I discovered I was destined for greatness. Lacking self-confidence caused me to fall short of peer pressure and make terrible decisions. I longed for acceptance from my peers and I was boggled down with peer pressure to fit in, even if it was the wrong decision. As I gained more self-awareness of my identity with advice from Dana Johnson, Marcita Kinlaw, and Wendy Feldman, just to name a few, I gained confidence, self-acceptance, and I learned that I have to accept myself first before finding people that I'm compatible with. 
The summer before entering high school, I decided it was time to grow. And that meant removing everything that was toxic, even though it would hurt me. I knew that it would not be easy to change, but I had to better myself for myself. I entered high school with a new mindset, although I was not completely changed right away. I faced many hardships the first year, and I thought I would never be able to get to where I knew I needed to be. I learned from my mistakes only because I was not afraid to make them. By being at Siskiwala, I have learned empowerment, perseverance, and leadership. I have had opportunities to explore who I truly am as an individual, and I have no doubts on the excellence that I will overcome. We would like to thank our very own principal, Yolanda Washington, for guiding us on a successful journey. Although the road wasn't easy, from all the homework to enforced rules, you have given us the strength to achieve our dreams. We know the current circumstances are unfortunate. However, we have all achieved so much throughout our high school careers. This is not the end for the class of 2020. We would like to leave our Siski Wallace sisters with words of encouragement through this. Every winner must take a loss. Winners are not made in gyms. They are made from something they have deep inside them, a desire, a dream, a vision. They have the skill and the will, but the will must be stronger than the skill. Thank you, and congratulations again, class of 2020. We love you all. Hashtag 2020 out. Please welcome our superintendent of Atlanta Public Schools, Dr. Maria Karstarfin. She brings an impressive record in the transformational educational leadership with nearly 25 years of experience in diverse major metropolitan school districts. She is a passionate advocate for children and their families, APS and its transformation. As a student, I know she has loved and supported all of us, my classmates and the district staff who have inspired her every day for the last six years. We are honored to have her lead us and we will miss her and she will miss us. Reading her letter to the class of 2020 and saying her final farewell, our superintendent, Dr. Maria Karstarfin. An open letter to the seniors of the class of 2020. To my beloved class of 2020, amid all the chaos and crazy surrounding what has become a global pandemic, I've been thinking about you, every single one of you, as our district works to maintain teaching and learning and some semblance of a normal school year, even as our school buildings remain closed. With you prematurely heading your separate ways, I've been reflecting on the power of the students of the class of 2020. You were starting seventh grade when I first met you, little middle schoolers that have now grown up into beautiful and compelling young men and women. It is you who give me the heart and passion to do this work. You are indeed hashtag worth the wait. And just as you have worked together to emerge from numerous struggles over your 13 years of schooling, you will emerge from this pandemic. Given how much you've achieved together, I know it may feel stressful and disorienting to have to face this latest challenge apart from each other. Even as you recognize the power of facing challenges together, you're told to face this particular one in isolation and at a distance. So it's lonely, it's scary, but it's not insurmountable. I've come to realize in my role as superintendent that while the immediate challenge of this virus does require us to be apart for a time, that's not the only challenge we're facing. The challenge before us is not just to make it through these next few weeks and months, because we will. What I see as the greatest challenge and opportunity for us is rebuilding the world on the other side of this, making it kinder, fairer, more just, and just much better than it was before. The disparities and inequities in our communities have always existed. However, they are exacerbated by the virus, and that is the world you will lead us through. 
You need to remember that. And I believe you are strong enough to persevere and rebuild our communities for the better. What gives me hope during these challenging times is that you, the leaders, the learners, the strivers that I've had the pleasure to watch grow over the last six years will be responsible for the building and shaping of that world. And you will do it together. As you move through the rest of your life, every job you take, every decision you make, every interaction you have will play a part in shaping that world. So these next few weeks provide opportune moments for you to think uninterrupted by the usual school day-to-day -day routines about who you are, what you want, what you wanna be, and what you're going to do to rebuild that world. Take that time and do something great with it. You've excelled in academics and scholarship, led by your two Laurens. They are valedictorian Lauren Hester, who received the Regeneron Science Talent Search Scholarship, the nation's oldest and most prestigious science and mathematics competition for high school seniors, and salutatorian Lauren Jones, who is also your star student for achieving the highest score on the SAT. And Damali McIntyre has already received more than $150,000, while Brianna Benson received a $150,000 military scholarship to Georgia Military College and Mercer University. You have lived our mission as shown by all of the seniors. You're graduating on time, but you've also all been accepted into college and you've contributed greatly to your school, becoming the first all-girls school in Georgia to be certified in STEM. And you've excelled in athletics and performance as your color guard earned top honors in competition this year. And your cheerleaders, led by seniors Shantiria Saylor and Kiera Timmons, reached the state for the first time. After all, you are the Eagles of Coretta Scott King Young Women's Leadership Academy. And just as Eagles do, you will take flight and you will rise above the trials and challenges you will face and you will soar. I wanna leave you with one final thought. Strength comes from struggle and the strongest are those forged in the fight. You have already developed and demonstrated so much strength. I've witnessed in our conversations, projects, football practices, water polo games, and everything else we've done together. You are already strong, and by the virtue of being the class forced to brave this pandemic through to graduation, you will be the strongest, most resilient, most prepared students of your generation. Take that strength forward, persevere, and continue making us proud. Much love and air hugs, your Dr. C.
Hello, seniors. The last 12 years have been labor intensive. And just like a diamond, you have undergone a lot of pressure and intensive heat. And just like that diamond, you have come out as beautiful gems. I am so proud to have served as your principal. Please know that these last 12 years have prepared you for this next transition. I can honestly say that as your principal, I know that you are ready for college and career. And again, you're gonna have some heated moments. You're gonna have some labor intensive moments, but know that you are built for this. The day you were born, you were built for a purpose. And now it's time for you to realize that purpose. For the last six weeks, I know you've been hearing uh, words like, this is unparalleled, this is unprecedented. Know that the meaning of unprecedented means never been done before. Now is your time. Now is your time to transition to bigger and better things and do things that have never been done before. You already have that growth mindset. So now show that you also have that grit mindset. And as things become difficult, and they will, when life gets too hard to stand, I want you to kneel and I want you to go to our Father who can take you to that next level. Just trust and believe and know that we're always with you. And I love you and I have been so proud serving you. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Casola Rogers and I am the high school counselor for the Coretta Scott King Young Women's Leadership Academy. Entering a single gender school was quite peculiar for me and listening to the opinions of others like, ooh, how are you going to manage being around all girls could have persuaded me to stay at a co-ed school. But no one told me about the meaningful relationships I would build with my students and staff members. Empathetically being in your shoes, I pondered on what I would have wanted to hear from my teachers as a high school senior. As I contemplated, the following words resonated deeply with me. Each of you possess an extraordinary quality and gift that will aid you in finding your purpose. Until purpose is discovered, existence has no meaning, for purpose is the source of fulfillment by Dr. Miles Monroe. Ladies, this is your time to explore who you are, why you are placed on this earth, and what powerful impact you will make in society. Class of 2020, until we meet again, stay safe and sanitized.
Dear class of 2020, we have been together for five years since eighth grade, and as your administrator, I have looped with you throughout the years. I have watched you blossom from middle school lovelies to high school seniors, completing rigorous courses and learning experiences such as advanced placement, dual enrollment, project engages, etc. You have taken advantage of many opportunities that Siskiwala offers, such as dance, JROTC, band, chorus, athletics, arts, world languages, Spanish, hola, French, bonjour. You helped us to achieve the 2020 AP Challenge School, advanced STEM certification, and for two consecutive years, we've earned the College Board Female Diversity Award. We received recognition from Good Morning America, GMA, as a school most likely to succeed. We were awarded $25,000 from Donors Choose, presented by Robin Roberts from GMA, and Lapita Youngo, who is also an actress. You helped our school to improve our CCRPI by a 10.1 increase. Wow, you are on pace to keep our 100% graduation rate for the class of 2020. Most importantly, you are servant leaders and have achieved hundreds of hours volunteering within the Atlanta metro area. Class of 2020, you researched a problem to resolve in our community, such as the food desert and how we can grow and provide fresh vegetables and fruits. You have supported the reboot of our edible school garden, established a honeybee hive, and spread love to our quail and silkies on campus. None of this surprises the faculty and staff at CSK or your parents, your families, and friends. After all, you are the class of 2020, and as we have chanted all year, we expect plenty. What more can I say? You have persevered through challenges and unprecedented times that no living child or adult has ever experienced. Guess what? You just flipped the switch. And these are facts. The greatest generation was born before 1928. The silent generation was born between 1928 and 1945. Baby boomers were born between 1946 and 1964. Generation X was born 1965 to 1980. Then we have millennials born 1981 to 1996. Always saving the best for last, we have you, Generation Z, born in 1997 and onward. You have been raised with a digital connection to society. You are independent, self-confident, and autonomous, financially focused, entrepreneurial, all about technology, and you are socially connected and competitive. You welcome change and are culturally diverse. You want to be heard and have your own set of formative life experiences, such as every generation before you. Class of 2020, you are resilient and you have shown and proved that you possess the DNA that's built for these unprecedented challenges because you have handled this experience just like our CSK pledge and creed that we recite each day. As much as you attempt to calm the chaos around you called life, you can't. You can only control yourself. And so from the moment on, every indelible mark that you make upon yourself and your community will embody a piece of you. This indelible mark will embody intelligence, courageousness, strength, and beauty. So remember, stay on top of your game, be the greatest influence, and continue to take charge of your life, and never, never settle for less. Class of 2020, we love, appreciate, and respect you. We are so proud of you. And I will leave you with the words of another Gen Z scholar, Malayla Yousafzai. When the whole world is silent, even one voice becomes powerful. Class of 2020, your unified voice is powerful. Congratulations, we love you. Congratulations, Coretta Scott King, Young Women Leadership Academy, Class of 2020. All of us on the Atlanta Board of Education are pleased that we are able to take a few moments to celebrate you. 
all of your classmates, some of your memories, and all of your accomplishments. Thank you for sharing with us. We pledge that there will be more and that someday, when circumstances are right and safe, we will celebrate live and in person with a full traditional ceremony. But for now, know that you are official graduates of Atlanta Public Schools. We, your parents, your teachers, your principal, your superintendent, your community, and your board members are certainly proud of you all for graduating from high school. As you continue your path through college, career, and life, know that you are not alone. Even when we are apart, you will always have the support of all of the people who've been a part of your journey. Once again, on behalf of Atlanta Public Schools, congratulations, good luck. We love you, we miss you. Go Eagles. We thoroughly hope that you enjoyed this celebration of the class of 2020, and we look forward to seeing you face to face when conditions allow as we continue to celebrate and honor you as graduates because you are hashtag worth the wait.